The Ringgold Tigers have made it to the state final six times in program history, but the search for that first championship still continues. The Tigers get swept by Harlem as the Bulldogs win the 3A crown. The Tigers knew just how much of a challenge this series was going to be going up against a 34-1 Harlem team, but they felt confident because they've been so good with their backs against the wall this season. They have won two game threes to keep their season alive. Unfortunately, the Bulldogs made just a few more plays to win the crown and send Ringgold packing. Game one was an uphill battle from the very start. Bottom of the first wrinkle down one nothing. Sebastian Haggard quickly evens the score with an RBI double. Ross Norman didn't have his best stuff, but he battled all game to give his team a chance. Number five certainly helped his cause in the bottom of the fifth with a game tying two bagger of his own. And just a few seconds later, the Tigers took their first lead of the game. And Aiden Hickman ground ball through the hole puts Ringgold on top three to two. Harlem punched back in the seventh. Tie game Shane Wheelis loops a ball into shallow left center. The two-run single puts the Bulldogs back in front 5-3. And that was all the scoring for game one. Ringgold fans kept the faith through game two, knowing the fight and resiliency this Tigers team has. And the nightcap got off to a much more promising start. The good guy struck first. Back-to-back -back hits in the top of the first led to a Cade Tankersley sack fly to right to drive home the first run of the game. Sebastian Haggard was lights out on the mound for three innings. Bottom four, Tristan McClady blasts a solo shot to break up the perfect game and tie things at one. That score remained until the fifth. Bases filled with Bulldogs and Will Holder hits a sack fly to right to put Harlem in front two to one. The Tigers got a prime opportunity in the sixth inning. Bases loaded, no outs, but Haggard hits a comebacker to the pitcher. Harlem turns a double play to get out of the inning unscathed. And that's the dagger, a championship winning play. The Bulldogs win game two and the 3A state title. You know, to us, it wasn't getting back to it, it was winning it. So, you know, obviously we're, uh, we're, we're upset about the fact that uh, we're the sixth team to be runner up. I love watching them celebrate out there because it fuels my fire. Um, so we're going to get back working. I'll never forget that, uh, that image, and I hope our returners uh, saw that image too. Um, your losses are going to fuel you a lot more than your wins are going to do. Um, so we're going to get back, and, and we're going to get back here um, as a program and hopefully overcome that monkey on our backs. Personally, I would say the bond between these guys, I've, I've played on a lot of teams in my life, and I would say that this is the closest team I've ever played on. Like, these are my best friends here. And uh, I'm tearing up to even say this, but like, I love these guys, and it was the greatest year of my life, honestly. Ringgold finishes the season 34-9 and with a lot of these young, talented players making their return next year. The future is certainly bright in Catoosa County. For now, at Advent Health Stadium in Rome, Smith Xano, Local 3 Sports.